Today's date is August 21st of 2002. Time is approximately 1.32 p.m. The location is the Montgomery Educational Pre-Release Center located at 1901 South Gettysburg uh, Road in Dayton, Ohio. Uh, we were presently inside the interview room here with uh, uh, Yard Officer Tom Swint, who is an employee here as well. And this is totally informal, okay? I want you to understand that you're not under arrest. That's not why we're here, okay? We're not here to place somebody under arrest. We're here in reference to the investigation of Mickey McCown or Marilyn McCown, how we refer to her in our investigation. It's an ongoing thing. It has been since uh, July 22nd of last year, okay? And I, I'm sure you understand that as well. You know why we're here. And the reason why I'm here is, last time I asked you when I came in here <coughs> whether or not you would submit to a blood test, uh, a photograph for us, fingerprints, a uh, polygraph test if we needed, and you had no objection to that. Is that still your comment today? Well, when it comes to that, I have to seek my legal counsel. Okay. So you're saying no, basically, at this point, when it comes down to all those things. Okay, I understand. Who is your legal counsel? Uh, well, uh, I have a couple of them. I can't think of his name right now. Actually, it's my wife. Okay. And again, also, basically, that's the only thing I need from you today. Is that all you need? Yeah. And uh, if I can get the information reference to the credit card and also the cell phone, and uh, would you be willing to sign these forms? I'll call you. You'll call me? Yeah. Now, hold on here. I'm not, I'm not done. Just a second here, okay? Go ahead, take a seat. i got a couple more things to cover with you here. What I need is these forms signed, because if I don't get the forms signed... I don't sign anything. Okay. I want you to understand something. I'll get them whether you sign them or not, okay? That's fine. Because what I'll do is I'll get the information by warrant, and what that's going to make you look like is if you're trying to hide something to this point. Is there a reason understand. why you wouldn't I understand want all that. Okay. No. I'm, I'm, what I'm upset about mm -hmm. is me being uh, uh, investigated for Nikki. Mm -hmm. Nikki was my friend. I want to find her just as much you or her parents want to find her. Okay, let's stop right there at this point. Maybe I can clarify that, okay? I agree with that comment right there. And that probably would, would probably be backed up with a lot if I saw some kind of uh, cooperation throughout this whole investigation when it came down okay, to it. Let me take this to take mm -hmm. Now, from the beginning, I have worked with you. Mm -hmm. You have told people I did cooperate with you. When my wife's father died, you told someone I did not want to come to Richmond and cooperate with you or tell you whatever. I work two jobs. I work 16 hours a day. I could not drive to Richmond, Indiana at 7 in the morning when I get out of work. I work here from 2 to 10 from my other job from 11 to 7. I can't drive to Richmond now. I had some kind of accident and drive off the road for falling asleep. I told you that. When my wife's husband passed, I called you in advance. I was supposed to see you that Saturday. My wife's That's father passed Wednesday. I called you as soon as he passed because I left work because my wife was in distress at work. I called you two hours after that okay. and told you that my wife's husband had passed and we'd be gone to Philadelphia. Did you verify that? Well, let me put it this way, Tom. When I first called you and tried to get a hold of you, how long did you wait? You called me back. As a matter of fact, you wait a minute. Did. How long did I wait? You got to understand. You never did. In a more? Oh, yes, I did. No, you yes, didn't. I, I called you. Detective. Your, your comment. Was, okay, listen, listen here, detective. Yes, I thought about it, but I didn't do it. Listen here, detective Redmond. Like I said, I work 16 hours a day. I have to sleep from 7:30 in the morning to 12:30 when I get up to come here. But the phone rings during my sleep time. I'm not going to answer. A lot of times, I do not even look at the phone to see whether any messages on it. So if you call one day, and I might have called you two or three days afterwards, I didn't get the message. Tom, you never did call me. And your comment was, is, and honestly, I don't have the paperwork in front of me. I wish I did at this point. Was is your comment basically was, if I recall, is I thought about it, but I didn't do it. Come on, detective. You know that's not true. I would never. Say, I, I didn't say that. Tom, I got all my phone calls recorded. Okay. Okay. Please, if you got that recorded, I want to hear it, because I know for sure I did not say that. That may come. That's up. not. That's not even in me to and, say that. And really, it's not even important to this point here. Okay. But when when your question comes down to that. You say that you have cooperated in this investigation. I'm sitting here basically stating that you haven't. And what I mean by that is, is that we've had interviews with you as well. And I've also came across things where I know you've been lying to me, Tom. I know you have. And I've got it documented as well. Okay. Whatever you have to okay. that's fine. All right. I just don't want you to get upset about it because... Because I'm, I'm quite sure you say, you say you have something that, that I lied about. I'm, I'm quite sure it's nothing about Nikki. Mm -hmm. okay. Sorry I pull you away from the job. I can't no problem. But... Uh, and again, I'm asking these things just so I can clarify them because you got to understand, I've got a lot of people in Richmond saying things on the other end, okay? And I'm caught in the middle. And if I don't ask you straightforward, I don't know. Okay, because okay, I understand your job. All right. I okay. understand your job. I don't want you thinking I'm holding a big axle here. I, I, I know you probably catch hell every day. I do. <laughs> exactly. You don't believe what I catch all this thing. Okay. Also, uh, and I wanted to ask you this too, and I asked Darlene Williams, and she gave me a response on it. And I need to know whether or not you were at Darlene's house. And I know this has been over a year ago. But I remember the day because, one, you know, I, I, I'm familiar with the investigation here, but, you know, I, I can see where it can be somewhat difficult for uh, 
somebody that didn't know Nikki or whatever, but my question is, is on Sunday, July 22nd of last year, were you at Darwin Williams' house? On that day, Detective? Yeah. Me and my wife woke up, went to church. We were in church until 1.45. 1.45, we came home, went to sleep. After that, we went to dinner, as we used to do every Sunday. Okay. And you know, I know you told me that last time, but I couldn't. No, I didn't tell you that last time because you didn't ask me. Well, that you didn't go in such detail, but yeah. Matter of fact, you said you the church was over here or something. Yeah, my church is right over here. Right yeah, matter of fact, you pointed when I asked you. Exactly. We did. We had church every Sunday almost. But nobody verified that. Is there somebody there that I can talk to that would verify that? Well, the pastor and we have thousands of members, but detectives, I'm quite sure. And mm -hmm. I tell you what, I got the program. Every Sunday I go to church, we get a program. So I collect the program, so I should have a program at home. Man, that'd be great if you had that. At least that would tell me that you're telling me the truth. Oh, yeah, okay. 100%. But I got nobody that can sit there and say that, yeah, I remember Thomas Wayne being there, even though I'm inquired about it, okay? Which I find a little bit strange. Who knows? People got different memories sometimes. Mm -hmm. And especially when you're asking somebody a couple months down the road. Well, my Lord hadn't even been to church for the Sunday I've been there, so yeah. I'm quite sure you know But you know, I, I, even went, I even went to even an extra step on that, and I thought, well, I'll ask an individual besides Tom Swint that would be there, that would probably know. You know who that was? Who? Your wife. <laughs> mm -hmm. And you know what she told me? What? I don't remember. Now I know you don't have to No. Honestly, I swear to God, that's, that's what happened. Okay. And did your wife tell you I went over to her place of employment, sat in her office there, and talked to her for just a little bit? I know that. Thank you. Okay. I'm sure she told you. I would hope that she would. I you know, know every, but I know that my wife would tell you that we went to church. So Why would she tell me that? Now? Okay, is, first of all, was she scared? Or? Hold up. First okay. of all, I can show you the proof of the program for one thing. Okay. And we can go back to that day, and I'm quite sure the pastor will remember or whatever, and so forth, and so forth. So we was at church that Sunday. We 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 hardly ever miss church. Okay. Ever. Man, I don't know why she I have, told me that. I know she can tell you that, detective. Yeah. Okay, that's did. your opinion. That's I obviously, know. obviously I bet so. I know she can tell you that. Obviously so. Okay. And you know, I asked her some other questions too, which hopefully I would have thought she would have discussed with you later. But um, you know, such things as and I know the issue came up too about the 23rd when you asked the day off. And your wife doesn't. And honestly, when I went over there, I talked to your wife and I said I didn't mention nothing about Darling Williams at all. I didn't do that. Detective. Mm -hmm. On the 23rd, the day after Nikki uh, was missing, Stephanie called me at home that Monday morning around 8:30 and told me that Nikki was missing. Mm -hmm. After she told me that Nikki was missing, I called Officer William, Darlene. He and Stephanie called Officer William and let her know. Me and Officer William decided, hey, we got to call off. We're going to Richmond. We went to Richmond that day. I remember everything that went on that day. Yeah, and I remember somebody in the interview that I had with you. You made the comment to the point of asking where you went to Richmond. You said, well, I went down to Tammy's house, right? Mm -hmm. And you had to ask directions off Stephanie Lee where you down, right? Yeah. But as Darlene Williams also told you, too, that Everybody in Richmond said you weren't there. No, not everybody in Richmond said that, Detective. Tammy's husband said he remember. I don't know what Tammy would remember. <laughs> Come on, Detective. You, no, you, you, not talk to Mike. You're talking about Mike, okay, right? Okay, listen up. Okay. We have a Lieutenant Pennant here. Okay. When that, the day, that Monday that we was in Richmond, Indiana, mm -hmm. I stayed in contact with Lieutenant Pennant to let him know everything that was going on in Richmond. Mm -hmm. I constantly called Lieutenant Pennant almost every hour to let him know what was going on there now because he was my supervisor at the time. So that Monday when I called off, I constantly stayed in contact with Lieutenant Pennant and Captain Cordell to let them know what was going on. Okay, All right, we'll stop there on that when it comes to that. Okay. Yeah. Did you call on your cell phone? No, I called on Tammy's no phone. Okay, so Tammy's records would show that, I'm sure, then. We called to this institute at least 10 to 15 times that day mm -hmm. because I called Pennick. I know Lieutenant Pennick. I called him at least about six times to let him know what was going on. Okay, and again, back to the question of whether or not you were at Darling Williams' house on Sunday, July 22nd, 2001, which was last year. Mm -hmm. I know you mentioned that you said you were in church all day long. No, I didn't say y'all all day well, long. Well, I was in church to one right. forty-five. But still, you know, what I'm looking for is whether you were not, or you were at Darling Williams' no, house. No, I was not day. at Darling Williams' house. On that day? No. Any time during that day? No. You invited to the wedding that they were going to have? To Nick and Yeah. Yeah, you were. You know who Darling was? Yeah. Was Darling going to be in the wedding? I don't know. Were you going to be in the wedding? Mm, I don't think so. No, nobody asked you to be in it or anything like that? No. Okay. Will do. And again, you don't want to sign the forms, do no. And I believe that probably is it. That's all I need off of you, so I appreciate you taking the time, okay? You're welcome. Thanks. And uh, Tom, if you can get that information for me in reference to the credit card and also the cell phone, that line goes directly to me. Just, just call me and uh, stick it on my line, okay? Appreciate it. Thanks. This will conclude uh, the interview with Tom Swint. Same date, the time will be uh, Ohio time, 3.54 p.m.